Hello poverty fighters, I tested the top all-in-one AI tools to see which one is actually worth using. If you're still relying on just one tool like Kling, Runway, or Sora, you're wasting your budget on limited features. In this video, we'll compare five of the best all-in-one AI tools. By the end, you'll know which tool is the most powerful, easiest to use, and gives you the best value for your money. So to make this comparison fair and easy to follow, I tested each tool in four simple ways. First is power. How many AI models you actually get and what they can do. Then comes innovation, meaning the features that really make a platform different, not just marketing promises. After that is experience, how easy and smooth it feels to use day to day, because a confusing tool can waste a lot of time. And finally, we look at value, the real cost per video, in actual dollars, not confusing credit systems. I'm not here to hype any tool blindly. I'm using real features, real pricing, and real testing so you can clearly see which one makes the most sense for you. Let's start with Artlist. Artlist originally started as a music and sound effects platform, and you can still feel that today. Recently, they added AI features like image generation, video generation, and AI voiceovers. When it comes to power and model variety, Artlist is more limited than some competitors. For text to image, it only offers a small selection of models. Most powerful among these models are Nano Banana Pro and Seedream 4.5, and it also has mid-tier options such as Flux 2.0 Pro and Flux Ultra. And it misses some major top-tier options like Flux Context Pro, Flux Context Max, Seedream 4, and Rave. On the video side, it also lacks several important generation tools such as Kling 2.5 5 Turbo Pro, Seadance Pro Fast, and WAN 2.5, which puts it behind platforms that focus heavily on advanced video creation. What compensates for all of the above is the presence of Sora 2 and VO 3.1. To keep this fair, I'm generating the same type of image on every platform so we can actually compare results. Also with videos. In terms of innovation and unique features, Artlist doesn't bring much that's truly new. The main exception is its SFX and music integration, which can be useful if you're already deep into the Artlist ecosystem. But beyond that, there's nothing very distinctive for image or video generation. Now, looking at the user experience, this is where Artlist does a decent job, but with limits. The interface is simple and clean, making it beginner-friendly, but it's also very basic. For advanced creators, it lacks depth, flexibility, and pro-level controls. As for the value it offers for the price, I think it's not very impressive. They focus on the highest plan and neglect the lower plans, which only include limited features. In my honest opinion, Artlist is good if you want simple AI image generation combined with licensed music and sound effects. But if you're a serious creator looking for powerful AI models, cutting-edge video tools, or advanced workflows, Artlist falls short compared to more complete platforms. So we'll rate it and place it in the C tier, which means it's basic and below average, and it still needs more development and improvement. Now let's move on to the second tool, FreePick. FreePick started as a design platform for creators with stock images, vectors, and templates. Now, it's evolved into a full AI creation hub. When we look at FreePick's power, the first thing that stands out is the number of AI models it gives you in one place. For image generation, you get several solid options like Cream, Flux, Flux Context, and Flux 1.1, plus Google Nano Banana and Google Image 4. In practice, the most reliable ones are Cream for clean visuals and Nano Banana for strong detail and consistency. There are other models available, but these two cover most real creator needs. But when it comes to video, FreePix AI video tools are more about short, simple clips rather than full cinematic scenes. They work well for background visuals, ads, and social content, but they're not built for heavy storytelling or advanced motion yet. It includes popular models like Sora, Kling 2.5 and 2.1, Runway, Minimax, and VO3, which are the models most creators actually use today. That said, it does lack a few of the newest top-tier video video models, like Kling 2.5 Turbo and Rev, which would push it even further ahead if they were available. When it comes to innovation and experience, FreePick keeps things pretty simple. It doesn't offer many standout or unique features yet, except for Spaces, which is a collaborative style workflow that's still in beta and feels a bit limited. In terms of experience, FreePick looks modern and well-designed, but it can feel cluttered, especially for beginners. With sections like Home, AI Suite, and all tools overlapping, it's not always clear where to go, and switching between tools can feel a bit slow at times. Once you get used to the layout, it works fine, but the learning curve is higher than it should be, making the experience 
experience decent, but not the smoothest overall. For pricing and value, I tested Freepik using the Premium Plus plan, since that's the only option that really makes sense for most creators. It gives you access to the full AI tool set without jumping into the much more expensive Pro tier, which is honestly overkill for the average user. At this price point, Freepik offers solid value thanks to the number of tools included, but when you compare cost per generation and overall efficiency, it doesn't stretch your budget as far as some newer, all-in-one platforms. Because of the high price, the confusing layout for beginners, and the overall value you get for the cost, I'm ranking Freepik at a D. In my opinion, if I had to choose between Freepik and Artlist, I would go with Artlist's Max plan, simply because it delivers better overall value and a smoother experience for creators at a lower price point. All right, now let's move to the third tool on this list, and this one is where things start to get really interesting. InVideo is built as a true all-in-one AI platform, combining image, video, and audio generation in a single workflow. Instead of jumping between tools or models, everything lives inside one organized system, which already makes it feel very different from the previous platforms. Instead of giving you just a few models and expecting you to figure everything out yourself, it gives you access to 70 plus AI models for image, video, and audio generation, all inside one platform. You'll find top models like Sora, VEO, Cdance, Kling 2.5, WAN 2.5, Minimax, Nano Banana, Flux, Rev, and more, all available without jumping between different tools or subscriptions. For example, I'll choose one model for image generation and another for video, then use the exact same prompt from the previous examples to see if there's any real difference in the results. So far, this platform is the fastest and most well-organized. The interface is very easy to use, with no unnecessary complexity. Everything is clear, and switching between models is smooth and intuitive based on your needs. As you can clearly see, the difference is obvious. The quality here is much higher, but that's not all. What really stood out to me is that if you're a beginner and don't even know which model to choose, you can simply write a basic prompt, and NVIDIA will generate a full publish-ready video for you, including visuals, effects, subtitles, captions, and sound, automatically selecting the best model in the background. If we go back to the home page and head to the video creation section, you'll find a very simple and clean interface. All you need to do is write or paste your video topic in any language. The platform supports different video formats, including shorts and long-form videos like tutorials and educational content up to 10 minutes. You can also use your own script, and there's a powerful feature called Clone Myself, which lets you present content using your own virtual avatar. Follow this guide to learn how it works. Now let's go back and see what really makes NVIDIA stand out. The workflow. This is where it succeeds at something most platforms fail at, serving beginners with simplicity while still giving professionals the quality and control they need without complex setups or long, exhausting processes. Here here you have multiple categories like trends, where you'll find all current trending topics such as Black Friday, and this section keeps updating automatically based on what's popular in each niche. And if you're a content creator or planning to produce new style content, this niche is already set up and ready for you. You also get strong niches like listicle videos, top 10, along with smart features like turning a blog into a video by simple copy paste or converting a link directly into a video. Also, if you're an e-commerce store owner or an affiliate marketer, there's a dedicated section just for you called Create UGC Ads, where you can generate UGC-style videos using your own avatar or turn a product link from Amazon or Shopify directly into a video. If you run an animation story channel, there's a section with multiple styles like Disney, Pixar, Lego, and anime. In short, InVideo combines all niches into a single workflow suitable for every platform, long YouTube videos, shorts for TikTok and Instagram, and ads. Let's say I have a channel where I create documents documentary content. All I need to do is set the video length between 3 to 10 minutes, add the video topic or idea, and then adjust a few clear settings in front of me. For the content, you can choose generated videos, images, or use stock footage. There are multiple style options, with hyper-realistic being the main one. You can also set background music, language, and subtitles with many available types. All music sources are licensed and monetizable, and for voiceover, you can select up to five different performers. You can also add a watermark 
mark to protect your ownership, and once you click Proceed, the platform automatically generates a detailed prompt based on your settings, which you can edit if needed. What I'm showing you now isn't technical talk. It's about experience and innovation. As you can see, the workflow is very smooth and effortless. By using AI Twins, you can add your own avatar, create a custom one, or use ready-made avatars to present the content on your behalf. Here, the longer the video duration, the longer the generation time will be, and that's completely normal. After the generation is finished, watch the full video and check if it needs any changes, then request the edits from here. And if you want to control every shot and frame, you can do that from here. When it comes to value, NVIDIA is honestly in a different league. Compared to the other tools, it consistently offers the lowest cost per generation across almost every major video model. We will see that at the end of the video in a detailed comparison. At first glance, $120 a month sounds expensive, but once you actually break this plan down, the value becomes very clear. You're getting 100 credits, 300 seconds of generative video, access to 70 plus AI models, unlimited exports, and unlimited image generations for a full year. If you've been following from the start, you'll notice that NVIDIA outperforms FreePick in terms of its top plan, which is reasonably priced for the value, and it also surpasses Artlist on the lower priced plans since it doesn't restrict any features, only the credit allocation differs. Based on all these criteria, NVIDIA clearly takes the top spot and earns an S ranking. It's truly exceptional and best in class. Now let's move on to the next tool on the list, OpenArt. OpenArt is extremely powerful in terms of model variety and flexibility. It offers a huge selection of image models like Cream 4.0, Nano Banana, Multiple Flux Variants, Ideogram, and its own photorealistic custom models. On the video side, it supports strong options such as Kling 2.5, Seadance, Sora, Minimax, Pika, and Runway, along with tools for text to video, image to video, and advanced elements workflows. Overall, OpenArt delivers near complete coverage across image, video, audio, and enhancement tools, making it one of the most feature dense platforms in the comparison, though a few newer models like VEO 3.1 are still missing. All right, now when it comes to innovation, OpenArt does a solid job mainly on the image side. It offers strong customization, image editing, and even the ability to train your own models, which is something not every platform supports. There are also useful extras like better lip sync options and upscaling. That said, for video generation, it doesn't introduce anything truly new or standout in terms of workflow. So while it's capable, the innovation here feels more incremental than game changing. Now, looking at the experience, OpenArt is clearly built for more advanced users. Users. The interface gives you a lot of control, but that also makes it feel dense and a bit overwhelming at first. Now for price and value, OpenArt sits in a middle ground. You're paying for access to a massive range of models and advanced features, which does add real value if you're someone who actually uses them. However, only the highest plan gives you access to all features, which makes sense due to its high price, but the lower plans do not offer the same full access compared to NVIDIA. In my opinion, it's a strong tool with a lot of options, but it can feel a bit heavy to use. You really get the best experience only on the highest plan, and the cheaper plans feel limited, which might not be ideal if you want something simple and easy to use. Based on all these reasons, we'll rate it a B because it's decent overall and just needs some improvement. Alright, now let's move to the final tool in this comparison and talk about power, and that's Higgsfield. In terms of power, Higgsfield actually offers a solid set of models and tools, but it's more about quality over quantity. On the image side, you get access to models like Higgsfield Soul, which is especially useful if you want to train your own character or identity using multiple reference images. That's a strong feature for creators who want consistency. Alongside that, you have popular image models like Nano Banana, Flux, Seedream, multi-reference options, and GPT-based tools. It's not an overwhelming number of models, but it covers the ones most creators actually use. When it comes to video, Higgsfield lets you switch between models like Sora 2, Kling 2.5, VEO, Minimax, plus their own native Higgsfield models. One thing they do well here is templates and prompt style effects, especially VFX heavy presets that can help if you're not sure what to create and want inspiration.
When it comes to innovation, Higgs Field focuses more on creative workflows rather than just raw models. One of its standout features is Popcorn, which lets you build videos using a storyboard-style approach instead of starting from a blank prompt. This is useful if you like planning scenes visually before generating the final video. And about experience, Higgs Field is easy to navigate at first, but the interface becomes visually dense very quickly. There are many options, effects, and templates on screen at the same time, which can feel overwhelming. Another issue is that it's hard to track or organize past creations, especially when working on multiple ideas. And about value, for Higgs Field, I'm looking at the ultimate plan because that's the one most people would actually pick. The creator plan is just too expensive. You do get access to solid models, but the pricing is kind of messy. Sometimes you're limited, sometimes you get big discounts, sometimes it feels almost unlimited, so it's hard to know what you're really paying per video. It's decent overall, but compared to NVIDIA, it's less clear and not as beginner-friendly. In my opinion, Higgs Field is a really strong platform overall. It offers a lot of creative power and flexibility, and once you get familiar with it, you can make some impressive stuff. It's not the simplest tool out there, but in terms of capability, it definitely deserves a top-tier spot. Based on all these criteria, we'll rank it in second place, and my note is very good, strong choice. All right, after testing all five tools across power, innovation, experience, and value, this is my final ranking. And to prove why I ranked it this way, here's a detailed comparison table. Some platforms are cheaper on one model but get really expensive on others, so the cost jumps around a lot. With NVIDIA, the pricing stays low across almost every major model, not just one or two. Even when other tools don't support certain models at all, NVIDIA still offers them at a reasonable cost. So overall, if you're generating videos regularly and switching between models, NVIDIA ends up giving more output for the same budget compared to the others. Finally, the choice is yours. As always, you'll find all the links below in the description and pinned comment. Let us know which tool is your favorite and see you next time.